Have you ever experienced the piercing sting of being overlooked by someone you deeply care about? It's more than just a feeling of being brushed aside. It's a soul-crushing sensation of being invisible, as if your emotions and sentiments hold no weight. It's the moment when you realize that no matter how much you pour your heart out, no matter how much love and dedication you show, you remain on the sidelines, unnoticed and unappreciated. Imagine the ache in your chest when you see them prioritize everyone else above you, never bothering to put your needs first. It's a relentless cycle of disappointment and longing, leaving you questioning your worth and significance. But what if I told you that you don't have to endure this pain forever? What if there were ways to break free from the chains of neglect and make them see your true value? In this video, we're going to unveil 10 essential rules to transform yourself into a person who commands attention and respect in every relationship. These rules are not just guidelines. They are the keys to reclaiming your sense of worth and forging deep, meaningful connections. Rule one, cultivate mystery. Delve into the wisdom of stoic kings like Marcus Aurelius, who understood the profound impact of enigma in captivating others. Marcus Aurelius, the stoic philosopher king, exemplified the power of mystery. In his meditations, he often reflected on the enigmatic nature of life, revealing himself gradually through his profound insights. Robert Greene, in his book, Seduction, echoes this sentiment, emphasizing the importance of revealing oneself slowly to maintain intrigue. Imagine leaving behind breadcrumbs of mystery for those around you. Like Marcus Aurelius, you become an enigma drawing others into the depths of your complexity. Friend one, have you noticed how intriguing Sarah has become lately? She's like a puzzle waiting to be solved. Friend two, exactly. It's like every layer we uncover reveals a new facet of her personality. I can't help but want to know more. By embracing the allure of the unknown, you transform yourself into a captivating presence, leaving others intrigued and eager to unravel the layers of your persona. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into instill a fear of loss with rule two. Embrace the mystery within and watch as it weaves its magic in your relationships. Rule two, instill a fear of loss. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher king, understood the intricacies of human relationships. He recognized that scarcity has a profound impact on how we perceive value. Think about the last time you feared losing someone dear to you. The mere thought of their absence sent shivers down your spine, didn't it? Friend 1. I realized how much I took her for granted when she threatened to leave. Suddenly, everything became clear, and I couldn't bear the thought of losing her. Friend too, it's like we don't realize the value of something until it's almost slipping away from our grasp. That fear of loss can be a powerful motivator. Indeed, the fear of loss can ignite a sense of urgency in our relationships, propelling us to cherish and appreciate what we have. But what if we could take it a step further? And in our next segment, as we explore rule three, create your own happiness. Discover how cultivating inner joy can transform not only your life, but also your relationships. Don't miss out on this empowering journey and yes, embrace the power of scarcity and watch as it deepens the bonds you hold dear. Rule three, create your own happiness. Seneca once said, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Seneca, the esteemed Stoic philosopher, reminds us that true happiness springs from within. Independent of external circumstances, consider the last time you felt truly content. What were you doing? Chances are it was something that resonated with your soul, something that brought you pure joy. Friend one, I used to think my happiness depended on others, but then I realized that I hold the key to my own joy. It's liberating, you know? 
friend too. Absolutely. Once I stopped seeking validation from external sources and focused on what truly lights me up, everything changed. It's like I radiate happiness now. Indeed, creating your own happiness is not just a personal endeavor. It's a magnet for positivity and fulfillment in relationships. But how does this translate into deeper connections? Rule four, be costly and let them invest in you. Seneca once said, a gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a man perfected without trials. In the realm of relationships, recognizing your own worth is paramount. It's about understanding that you are a gem, a valuable asset worthy of appreciation and investment. By acknowledging your inherent value, you create space for others to recognize and appreciate it as well. But how do we encourage others to invest in us? Stoic philosophy offers valuable insights into cultivating appreciation and respect in relationships. It teaches us to embrace the principle of reciprocity, to allow others the opportunity to invest in us just as we invest in them. Setting boundaries and expressing your needs are not signs of selfishness, but rather acts of self-respect. By demonstrating your worth and encouraging others to invest in you, you elevate the quality of your relationships, embrace your worth, and allow others the privilege of investing in you. Together, we can build transformative relationships rooted in mutual respect and appreciation. Rule five, don't make them the center of your life. In the intricate dance of relationships, it's easy to lose sight of our individuality amidst the desires and expectations of others. But rule five reminds us of the importance of maintaining our autonomy. Making someone the center of your universe can lead to an imbalance in the relationship, often resulting in feelings of suffocation and dependency. Stoic philosophy teaches us to nurture our own dreams, ambitions, and identities, independent of any external influences. By living authentically and pursuing our passions, we enrich not only our lives, but also the lives of those around us. When we prioritize our own well-being and pursue our own interests, we become more attractive and captivating partners. Our autonomy adds depth and richness to the relationship, fostering a sense of admiration and respect, your independence, and live a life that complements, not revolves around, others. Together, we can cultivate relationships built on mutual respect and admiration. Rule six, prioritize your own needs. Marcus Aurelius, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. In the intricate tapestry of relationships, it's easy to lose sight of our own needs amidst the demands and expectations of others. But Rule 6 reminds us of the importance of self-care and self-respect. Stoic philosophy teaches us that true strength lies in prioritizing our own well-being and happiness. By honoring our needs and desires, we assert our worth and value in any relationship. When we prioritize our own needs, we not only cultivate a sense of self-respect, but also create healthier and more fulfilling relationships. By setting boundaries and asserting ourselves, we establish a foundation of mutual respect and understanding. Remember, putting yourself first is not selfish. It's an act of self-preservation and empowerment. By prioritizing our own needs, we become more resilient, confident, and fulfilled individuals. To prioritize your own needs and advocate for yourself in all relationships. Together, we can create relationships built on mutual respect and empowerment. Rule seven, don't be always available. In today's hyper-connected world, the boundary between work and personal life has become increasingly blurred. As we delve into rule seven, don't be always available. We confront the modern dilemma of constant accessibility. Seneca once said, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Our time 
is one of our most valuable assets, yet many of us find ourselves constantly tethered to our devices, responding to emails, messages and notifications. At all hours of the day, being always available not only drains our energy and diminishes our productivity, but also erodes the quality of our relationships. When we're constantly distracted and overwhelmed, we fail to fully engage with those around us. Stoic philosophy reminds us of the importance of valuing our time and setting boundaries to protect it. By establishing clear boundaries around our availability, we cultivate a sense of curiosity and appreciation in others. When we're not always available, we create space for meaningful connections and interactions. We give others the opportunity to appreciate our presence and engage with us more deeply. So let's embrace rule seven as a guiding principle for modern relationships. By valuing our time and balancing our availability, we cultivate healthier, more fulfilling connections with others. Until next time, remember to value your time and prioritize meaningful connections. Together, we can create relationships built on respect, appreciation, and balance. Rule eight, stop starting the conversations all the time. In the digital age, communication has become instantaneous, yet the art of initiating conversation remains a delicate balance. As we delve into Rule 8, stop starting the conversation. All the time, we confront the modern challenge of appearing too eager or readily available. Many of us find ourselves constantly initiating conversations, whether it's through text messages, social media, or face-to-face -face interactions. We eagerly seek validation and attention, often at the expense of our own dignity and self-respect. However, Constantly starting conversations can inadvertently convey desperation or neediness, undermining our sense of self-worth and autonomy. Stoic philosophy reminds us of the importance of maintaining our dignity and self-respect in all interactions. By cultivating a balanced approach to communication, we project confidence and self-assurance. When we stop constantly starting conversations, we give others the opportunity to reciprocate and invest in the relationship. We create space for mutual respect and appreciation to flourish. So let's embrace rule eight as a guiding principle for effective communication. By striking a balance between initiating and reciprocating conversations, we foster healthier, more authentic connections with others, communicate with confidence and self-respect. Together we can build relationships grounded in mutual respect and understanding. Rule 9. Don't be too emotionally attached. In the intricate dance of human relationships, emotional balance is paramount. As we delve into Rule 9, don't be too emotionally attached. We confront the delicate balance between sharing our feelings and maintaining composure. Stoic philosophy teaches us the importance of maintaining emotional equilibrium, especially in the face of adversity. By practicing restraint and self-control, we can navigate the complexities of human emotion with grace and resilience. When we refrain from becoming too emotionally attached, we preserve our sense of autonomy and self-respect. We avoid being consumed by our emotions, allowing us to respond thoughtfully and rationally. By cultivating emotional balance, we cultivate inner strength and resilience. We become better equipped to handle the ups and downs of relationships, fostering deeper connections based on mutual respect and understanding. So, let's embrace Rule 9 as a guiding principle for achieving emotional balance in our relationships. By tempering our emotions with reason and restraint, we can cultivate healthier, more harmonious connections with others. Remember to cultivate emotional balance in all your relationships. Together, we can build a foundation of mutual respect and understanding. Rule 10. Be willing to walk away. 
In the journey of life, there comes a time when we must confront the difficult reality of toxic relationships. As we delve into Rule 10, be willing to walk away, we confront the power of self-respect and the courage to let go. Marcus Aurelius displayed on screen, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Walking away from toxic relationships is never easy, but it is essential for preserving our well-being and self-respect. Stoic philosophy teaches us that true strength lies in our ability to control our responses and prioritize our own well-being. By recognizing when a relationship no longer serves us, we reclaim our power and pave the way for a brighter future. When we choose to walk away from toxic relationships, we affirm our worth and dignity. We refuse to settle for less than we deserve, opening the door to new opportunities and possibilities. By embracing the power to walk away, we take control of our lives and create space for healthier, more fulfilling connections. We honor ourselves and set an example for others to follow. Let's embrace Rule 10 as a guiding principle for reclaiming our power and living authentically. By recognizing our worth and refusing to tolerate toxicity, we pave the way for a brighter, more fulfilling future. Conclusion. As we come to the end of our journey, we hope you've found inspiration and insight in our exploration of stoic principles for transforming relationships. From cultivating mystery to prioritizing self-respect, each rule offers a pathway to personal growth and fulfillment. If you're ready to dive deeper into stoic philosophy and discover more powerful insights, we invite you to subscribe to the Stoic Judy YouTube channel, join our community of like-minded individuals committed to living authentically and embracing the wisdom of the Stoics. Thank you for joining us on this journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Together, let's continue to explore the transformative power of Stoicism. Subscribe to the Stoic Judy YouTube channel today and unlock a world of inspiration and enlightenment.